Hello friends, before we start today's video, I just want to show you something very, very quickly. I have been sent this wonderful notebook from Atoms to Astronauts and they have a variety of different notebooks ranging from chemistry notebooks to botany notebooks and so on. And honestly, I think this is the most beautiful notebook I have ever seen. It has a cover with lots of different illustrations related to chemistry and also the inside cover is absolutely amazing with lots of little um, acknowledgements to different areas of chemistry. Thank you so much Atoms Astronauts for sending me this wonderful notebook. I can't wait to start writing in it, especially for my new job. And let's get back to the video. Hello, good morning. I hope you can hear me. It's very loud in here, but if you remember from last week's vlog, I... not last week's vlog, two weeks ago. The vlog two weeks ago. <laughs> I can't speak. Um, I was freeze drying the coral, which has been freeze drying over the weekend because we're a week ahead now and it looks dry so I'm going to remove it from the freeze dryer and then we can start to extract it. chat while I'm extracting the coral. So it is early morning on Wednesday today and I'm only in the lab to extract this coral and then add more methanol so I can do another extraction and then I'm going to the gym. Oh my goodness the coral smells bad. <laughs> I was also helping a colleague on how to use the plate reader this morning also so we're just jumping into the lab very very quickly. Yesterday afternoon I didn't really update you much. I didn't really think I was going to vlog this week but here we are. Sometimes I just make a last minute decision and then we have a weekly vlog. But yes, I didn't update you yesterday on what I was up to. So yesterday I extracted the coral as you saw and then I used one of the computers here to analyze the LCMS data from the negative ionization mode and 
Thankfully, we have some good data for some more of the extracts that I am analyzing in one of my chapters, so that is good. I can now finish with that LCMS analysis, which is really good because I don't want to be doing too much lab work, as I've mentioned. So I got that data analyzed. Then I had a seminar for the National Decommissioning Center, which is one of my funders. And then I had to join my Society of Chemical Industry committee meeting. And then that took me until four o'clock. I tried to go to the gym and they were at full capacity because students are back at class now. And it is a student gym because it's a university gym. And it must be that all the students are going to the gym because it's January. So that was annoying, but it's okay. It forced me to go home. I relaxed for a little while and then I made some tables for my chapter while I was watching a movie. So I was working up until probably eight o'clock last night, but I was doing something that wasn't too, you know, brain heavy. I was making tables, I was transferring data, I was watching a movie at the same time, so it wasn't so bad. But yes, today we are extracting the coral, I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to go home and I'm not actually sure what the plans are for today, so I will update you on the plans when we get back to my house and I look at my planner. So I added more methanol to add, make the second extract. This one is almost finished filtering. I just have this little bit left. And then we go to the gym. friends and happy Thursday. Yesterday you saw that I was in the lab in the morning and then I went to the gym and then I went home and I decided I was not feeling motivated and inspired at home so I decided to go to my other office at the decommissioning centre, one of my funders for my project and I worked very productively out there for the whole afternoon so it was a very good idea. I managed to make some good progress polishing up one of my chapters and I added the conclusion and the experimental part this morning so that was also very productive and now we're going to the lab because I need to continue to extract that coral. I have a coffee outing with some friends from the lab and I need to dry the extract of the coral and then I also want to try and go to the gym before I come back home. So that's the plan. We shall see how it goes. But so far so good. I'm feeling very very productive and motivated. <laughs> and happy Friday. It is almost 2 p.m. and I haven't showed you much from this morning because I've not been very productive. I am working over the weekend so I think that's you know hanging in my brain thinking well you've got time to do things at the weekend so you don't need to do anything today. Not a great mindset to have but I didn't wake up feeling very well this morning either. I was incredibly tired. I woke up multiple times during the night and I had a really bad like really thumping sore head and I was really scared that I was getting sick again but I did do a little bit this morning of polishing up of one of my chapters that I want to send to my supervisor at the beginning of next week and yes we have lots of work to do over the weekend but in five minutes time I have a meeting with my collaborators from my France research trip we are going to discuss some data that they have collected for me uh, for some samples that I prepared before I left and they were going to be running some tests for me so that's great because once I have that data I can include it into two of my thesis chapters and they are completely finished so that's great two out of four results chapters will be 100% done. So very good considering I have one month today to hand in my thesis, which is very, very scary, Ooh. but also exciting because I'm ready to finish and I'm ready to start my new job, which you would have heard about in last week's video. So I'm going to log on now for the meeting and I will update you after the meeting because I'm going into the lab and I'm going to our weekly group meeting this week because I missed it last time, but I am going this week. So my collaborator is actually in another meeting just now and she just messaged me to say that she's running late. So I have some time to explain what is going on this evening. So you've seen Sylvia before in one of my previous vlogs, but Sylvia is our current postdoc at the Marine Bio Discovery Centre, along with Emmanuel as well, who you've definitely seen in the vlogs. And Sylvia is leaving, uh, leaving Aberdeen, sadly as well. We are going to miss her a lot 
and because next week is her last week in the lab we are going out for a secret dinner tonight which she doesn't know about she knows that she thinks that she's going out for dinner with myself and some of the our friends from the lab but she doesn't realize that everyone from the lab is going even our uh, our supervisors our pis so she's going to get a really great surprise when she turns up and we all surprise her and we also have gifts for her we all took um a little video which I edited together of everyone saying messages to her so we're going to give her that also on a USB stick so it's just going to be a really lovely evening this evening so I'm going to try and record if I remember us surprising her at the restaurant but now yeah I'm just going to wait until I get a message from Claire saying that she's ready for the meeting and then I'm going to take the meeting <laughs> Surprise! 